Never in my wildest dreams that I think that I would be a mom of two boys. I always imagine myself this mom of a girl dressing her up and loving her um, endlessly and kissing her and not that I don't do that with my sons but I never thought that I would be a mom of two boys. And there was a time where our eldest was, I think about two years, just turning three years old, where I was so confused about what to do. We were walking into a toy shop and I told him that he can have any toy he wants. And that is like a big surprise. I took him straight from school to the toy shop to choose a toy. And I thought that he would probably choose like a big car or a ball or something like that. And he just wanted the swords and the guns. And the more I tried to get him away from the swords and the guns, the more he wanted the swords and the guns. And I was so confused as to allowing him to get that and becoming violent or not allowing him to get that, but preventing him from being a boy. And I came across this most amazing book ever that completely changed my life when it comes to raising my boys. The book is called Mother and Son, The Respect Effect, and it's written by Emerson Egrix, who has a PhD in family ecology. And to all of the mommy boys watching this, this is a must read. If your boy is three years old, if he's five years old, if he's 25 years old, if he's 50 years old, it doesn't matter. This is a book that you should read. And I'm going to share my take on the book with you in this video. So when it comes to parenting, especially as a mom towards our sons, we don't speak the same language. I now realize why I struggled to figure out why my son does what he does. Because we don't speak the same language. It's proven that boys and girls are so different in their wiring, the way that they look at the world. Boys or girls look at the world through the love grid. They appreciate the feeling of love. Everything they do, everything they see is through the lens of love. Boys look at the world through the respect grid. They feel like respect talks louder than love. Yes, they need love. Yes, they need respect. But for them, respect speaks louder than love. So this is the, the, the main difference between boys and girls. And that's the language that I had to learn to speak to be able to raise my son and to be able to be the best mom I can be for my son. So first of all, I have a pink brain and my son has a blue brain. How do I see the world as a blue brain with my pink brain? And that's the most difficult part. Very often we go into a crazy cycle, like Dr. Emerson calls it, where my boy does something that feels unloving towards me and I try to discipline him, but without knowing it in a disrespectful manner. The more disrespect I show him, the less love he shows me and this crazy cycle just continues. So learning to speak respect and to treat my son with respect is going to get you out of that crazy cycle into a reward cycle. So what is respect? And this is one of the questions that most of the moms asked um, Emerson when he wrote the book. What is respect? I feel like I am respecting my child or my son has to earn my respect for me to give him my respect. But respect towards your son is having unconditional positive regard towards his willing spirit. Yes, disciplining his flesh, his weak flesh, but always respecting his willing spirit. And that is where the difference comes in. The way you speak to him, the tone of your voice, the way you make him feel, how you appreciate him for certain things, the word respect, the word I'm proud of you, makes such a big difference. And Emerson came across or developed an acronym called CHAIRS to describe the main or the core desires of a boy. And this can be translated to your husband as well. So since reading this book, I've learned so much about men in general because the boy or there's always the man in the boy. You speak to the man in the boy. So the CHAIRS acronym gives you a summary of the main desires of a boy.
and if you're able to always remember these desires and if you're able to be on the lookout for opportunities and ways you can motivate your son you can praise your son whenever he li lives these desires that's where the real difference will come in so let me take you through the acronym chairs c is for conquest his desire to work and achieve his desire to do little things that will help you and if you're not aware of that desire if you don't respect that desire you will not be able to truly speak respect talk towards your son h hierarchy his desire to protect and to provide and this is where the sword comes in um, i always thought that i can't have my boy play with swords because that will make him violent but he has an inherent desire to protect and to provide. So since I've changed that, since I've asked him to protect me against the monsters or thank him when he protects me against the bad guys, I've seen such a big change in my boy. A is for authority, his desire to serve and lead. He wants to lead, he wants to be in control because he wants to be the leader. He wants to serve. So as soon as you change your mindset, thinking that he wants to do what he wants to do, he actually wants to lead and to serve. And when you thank him for that, when you tell him you're proud of him for that, um, it is just amazing to see what happens. I is insight, his desire to analyze. Whenever I'm faced with a problem, with a small problem or something that I'm struggling with, and my boy is next to me, I'll ask him, how do you think we can solve this? What are your thoughts about this? And you can just see his eyes lighting up because he has the opportunity to help you with something, to analyze something and to give you a solution. R for relationship. Boys desire a shoulder to shoulder relationship. Us moms feel like we have to have a deep conversation with our boys. When I fetch him at school, asking him what happened, um, what did he do, what did he eat, what did his friends say, but he doesn't always want to share deep things and to talk. He absolutely loves it when I just sit next to him and watch him play, when I just, just sit next to him and watch him build a sandcastle or just play with his cars with him. He's longing for that shoulder to shoulder relationship with his mommy. S is for sexuality, his desire to understand sexuality. And in the book, Mother and Son, Emerson takes you through so much detail when it comes to speaking to your child about sexuality, speaking to your son about sexuality, and how you can ask your husband to help with this regard. So that was a quick summary of the book, Mother and Son, and I really, really, really can't emphasize it enough how it completely changed my way of parenting. I can't remember the last time I had to put my son in timeout, I'm still disciplining him, but I'm doing it in a respectful way just because I have these tools. So to all of your mommy boys out there or boy mommies out there, make sure you get yourself a mother and son the respect effect. Share this with a fellow mom of a boy.